Hey guys. So today we're going to discuss about uh, yet another cool feature of uh, Azure networking, which is the virtual network peering. So uh, let me show you the topology which I have created for this. Uh, so I want you to look at uh, VM1 and VM3. Uh, please don't, uh, uh, for the time being, just ignore the other virtual machines. Uh, so as you see here, VM1 and VM3 both are running. Uh, but uh, the, the interesting fact about them is uh, that the virtual network in which they are. So if you see here, the second and the uh, the second and the fourth row is where I want you to concentrate. So uh, the VM1 virtual machine is in the virtual network Azure networking RG1 uh, VNet, right? And uh, <clears throat> the other virtual machine is in a different virtual network called VNet2. And if you see here, the uh, address range of those two virtual networks are different as well and they are not conflicting with each other remember they are not conflicting with each other and of course we have uh, different names for the subnets inside the virtual network subnet 1 uh, of uh, the vnet uh, i'll just call it vnet 1 okay uh, and subnet 0 of vnet 2 so uh, the thing is that provided two virtual machines uh, have the ICMP protocol enabled uh, from the firewall, if they are allowing, each of them are allowing the ICMP uh, echo response, in that case, and also, uh, yeah, uh, if, if they are allowing that, uh, then uh, both these two virtual machines can communicate between each other, provided they are in the same virtual network. And to make sure that happens, uh, we have, of course, the default system route, which makes sure that this is possible any virtual machine within a virtual network is able to communicate with each other. Uh, if I say ping, then of course, uh, the operating system level, uh, operating system uh, settings will need to be done like firewall and so on and so forth. But uh, if the network security groups uh, uh, make sure that um, these settings are enabled, then any two virtual machines within the virtual net, same virtual network can communicate with each other. However, it may, uh, it may uh, be needed for two different virtual machines to be located in two different virtual networks to communicate with each other. Now, by default, it is not possible because virtual network is a, a, a layer of isolation uh, from uh, the networking perspective and hence uh, it doesn't allow two different machines or devices in two different virtual networks to communicate with each other. However, we have a way to achieve this which is called the virtual network peering which means that if we make two virtual networks peers to each other, okay, in that case we can have this communication done. And uh, one important uh, thing about that is that once you have that peering enabled, uh, that communication follows the Azure backbone network without even actually going through the internet. Okay, so that's all following the private IP address of the Azure backbone uh, network, and, and which is why it's more faster. So basically, the virtual network peering allows us to establish a very fast communication channel between two virtual machines in two different virtual networks.
So having uh, said that uh, theory, let's see that in practice. So VM1 and VM2, okay? And I have made sure that both VM1 and VM3 uh, have their uh, ICMP protocol enabled, which means the network security groups, both of them have the rules uh, enabled, uh, as well as uh, the firewall uh, in both of the machines have the uh, rule enabled, okay? So uh, let's just go to the VM1 and try to ping, uh, try to ping VM3. Now VM3, uh, if you want to see, VM3 is having a private IP address of 10.1.0.4, okay? So we try to ping that. Now, as expected, this doesn't work because of the reason which I told you. Now let us uh, try to add a peering. So we go to any of the virtual networks. In this case, let's go to the VNet2 and peerings is available here. So we just create a new peering. The first thing we need to do is uh, for peering to work, a peering link must be created both sides, okay? So the first is from the VNet2 to the remote virtual network. In this case, I'll say VNet2 to uh, VNet1. This is just a name though. Uh, and uh, this is the virtual network that I want it to communicate to. And then the other side of it, I'll say VNet1 to vnet2 and this i'll say uh yeah so and that's it basically with this if i just click on ok then uh it will add a peering link on both sides basically from the vnet1 to vnet2 and the vnet2 to vnet1 okay so uh i'm just pausing the video for a sec and we'll come back once the peering is added Okay, so uh, the VNet peerings have been added. So if you see here, we have VNet2 to VNet1 uh, peering. Uh, if we go to the other virtual network now, uh, we can then see uh, if we refresh this, then we will see the VNet1 to VNet2 connection as well. So both the links have been created on both sides. Uh, let us try to now do the same thing which was not possible earlier. So I'll just ping this right now. And as you see here, uh, this just works like uh, anything, right? So this was a very simple example of uh, establishing connection between two virtual machines in two different virtual networks with the help of virtual network peering. Thank you very much.